So my main partner is my husband and mm -hmm. he is naturally a switch, but mm -hmm. we are in a total power exchange relationship, 24 seven total power exchange relationship. Mm -hmm. That means I am in total control over him. I take all the decisions in our family and so on. This doesn't mean I am like a dictator. Oh, you'll do that. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's mm -hmm. more like a traditional patriarchal couple where the roles are switch basically i am the one initiating the sex all the time i am the one deciding what he will wear for me i am the one deciding where where to go like this is our date night and i want to have cocktails and things like that and of course when we have decisions important decision we discuss and I take the veto, like <laughs> if you can say, so you'll consider his side, but ultimately you get to make the decision. Yes, this is our negotiations, but mm -hmm. as, as you can imagine, it's, he wants to be here and he trusts my judgment. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, I he, he's a very, um, he has a very strong personality and, I think what makes him willing to submit is that he sees that I have qualities that he do not have, and he has qualities that will complete my, um, my lack of <laughs> qualities mm -hmm. in a certain area. Mm -hmm. So basically we are perfect complements to each other. Yeah. And, uh, since we are together 11 years, almost, um, we are both the best versions of, our, of ourselves from everything, starting with our sex life, love, family, finances, and so on. So basically, it, it's, um, it's a team that works. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, <laughs> so it's good. That's, that's uh, I have more questions about that, but I want to I want to go back mm -hmm. uh, to something else before I forget. So how many male partners do you have right now? I have seven male partners, That's but a lot of work. <laughs> yes, but with not everyone requires the same amount of time and mm -hmm. um, implications emotionally or otherwise from my part. Basically, my husband is my primary and we live together with our twins and we are like a regular couple. We are legally married. And I have a very close boy. He is actually an American. He moved all the way from from United States when he wow. retired. Yes, to to be my living boy. Uh, he's mm -hmm. not living in my house. Uh, he rented a house very close to mine. Like I can see his <laughs> window, mm -hmm. and uh, he is there at my beck and call. So every time I want something, sometimes important things like. I want you to come and tidy up my bedroom every day, for example, and, mm -hmm. you know, make a little bit of a maid service. But also sometimes if in the middle of the night, I feel like, oh, you know what? I really want a Coca-Cola Zero. Usually I don't buy it because I think it's not healthy, but right now I'm craving to go get it. So things like wow. that. <laughs> that <laughs> wow. Um, so I, no, obviously, I'm sure you don't take everybody who applies, right? So what do you, like, how do you decide what male partners you will take on? Do they have to apply? Do they have to like fill anything out? And like, what, what qualities do they have to have that you'll consider them? That's an amazing question. Thank you for asking because <laughs> it's, it's a great way to put it out there. Um, so I'm creating femdom content for 10 years now. So on the femdom scene, I am extremely popular. If I would take in consideration every man who would like to serve me in one capacity or another, I would go crazy. I would have no time for anything. There would be 1000 Ezada needed for that. So mm -hmm. <laughs> in order to choose someone, although there is not a very clear process, it's how I feel the connection goes. Of course, at the beginning, when I was in less relationships or I was looking for something specific, I was more open to start new relationships. 
as the time goes and I feel myself overwhelmed with, you know, answering messages, uh, doing lots of, um, well, interaction basically, which is nice when you are with one, two, three, four partners, but when you have <laughs> plenty, it can be very tiring. So I found myself in the, um, in the place where I just have to put strict limits that my harem, I like to call them my harem, mm -hmm. um, as a joke, <laughs> because <laughs> harem means women actually, and it's a polygamy relationship, but I like to call them this way. So um, the thing is, when I was still looking for something like, oh, you know what, I really like a boy who is this and that, very open to do this kind of fetish. So I would, I would look through the ones that I'm in contact with, maybe 100 boys, and I will see which one will fit the best the cr criteria, and I will start to develop a relationship from there. Usually after six months, one year of online interaction, I would invite them to meet and we will spend a day together. We will see how things are going. They will receive maybe a collar, a training collar, which is like an engagement ring. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, the relationship will be negotiated more and more. Like um, right now from the all seven partners that I have, I am in the process of having another move in with me well, in, in Bucharest, Romania, he is from England. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's a process. We are talking about it for several years and he needs to change the job. He, it's difficult to find a job in Romania. I will probably hire him, but, you know, it's a lot to consider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so but, when you said move yes. in with you, but you don't mean into your house, you just mean into your country? Um, I mean into my... Yes, not into my house, mm -hmm. my basic fantasy. Your world. 